couple of big dates coming up that I want to chat with you guys about. First, uh, and the most important date, I'm sure we'll all agree, is Valentine's Day. And then in addition to that happening on the same weekend, so I don't know who planned this, is the NBA All-Star Weekend. So yeah. we're going It's to all about the about love, Jackie. Oh, it's all about the ahead. love. Jackie, we're, we're – and the great thing what they're doing here with Telefloor is combining the two of them. Everyone should be ordering flowers – for their women anyways. This gives you a chance to do that, make them happy, and win free NBA tickets, free NBA clothes, free flowers for a year. You get all that stuff? All that how stuff. Do you do that? All you have to do is go to NBA.com slash Valentine. And this tremendous promotion and the combination of the business partners and the celebration of the greatness of the NBA with All-Star Weekend all converging at one big gigantic time but there's a time limit on this jackie you can't just wait until the game is over you got to get this done right. before jan for excuse me february 13th and i'm the luckiest guy in the world i'm happily married and i know full well that a happy wife means a happy life and that's why i get my wife the teleflora flowers on a constant basis here her favorite is the swirling beauty bouquet because she really is Lori, a swirling beauty and to be able to go and, and and to be able to send her roses, to be able to send her the lilies and all the different things that make a relationship go. It's the same thing that makes the NBA go. It's that sense of team, the sense of sacrifice, the sense of the direction of what we're trying to do and get this job done and what could be better. I agree. And when I saw this, what Telesfloor was doing, I was excited. So I was hooked because... Luke, I what are you getting for brief? Seriously, bad on Valentine's Day. You're bad, yeah, Jackie. Kind of like the perfect Jack, world. <laughs> Jack, Jackie, I'm get, I'm getting my wife the heartfelt bouquet. The heartfelt. The heartfelt. Uh, yeah, I, I, I got to feel it right there. You got to feel it. <laughs> I recommend that one, Jackie. I, I, I don't know how you do with the ladies, but you send that one to them. Hey, maybe you win NBA tickets too. Send them free flowers for a year. I think you'll start doing a little better. Flowers have been scientifically so. proven to improve the quality of your relationship, to improve your emotional well-being. And the goal in life is to be happy. John Lennon taught us that so many years ago. And all you need is love and teleflora. And <laughs> teleflora. And, and I agree with what you said earlier, Bill. A happy wife is a happy life. And that, that's what I'm aiming for. So I, I'm going to be looking at the teleflora. I'm going to have to hide this this uh, conversation that we're having for my wife until afterwards so she finds out about it after the fact. And then maybe uh, we'll also get some all-star game tickets too. Well, that's the cool thing is because we get the win-win situation here. The ladies are happy. We get to go to the games. We get the swag. And it's all so easy just to click away. And to score, you got to get the ladies to turn their love light on. And that just requires you to Give them something nice. Give them what they want, and that is flowers. I, I, I'm loving it. I am loving it. Hey, I got a couple quick basketball sure. questions about you uh, from you guys. First, I want to share a quick story. Uh, my grandfather played basketball in Southern Indiana and played against John Wooden uh, in the 1920s. So John Wooden's kind of big in our household. So tell me some of your best advice that you received from John Wooden. Luke? Be quick, but don't hurry. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. <laughs> Happiness begins when selfishness ends. And I can remember, Jackie, when Luke was just a young boy, and Luke has three brothers as well, and we never want to leave them out, but I would take all the children up to Coach Wooden's house and have him show them how to put their shoes and socks on because Coach Wooden was a meticulous teacher, and it was just so great to see this man who just gave up his life so that other people could be happy. And... and, and the way that Coach would make other people happy. And I know that was with his wife now, he used to always get her flowers. And even after she passed, he would go and put the flowers uh, on the grave site. So nothing like love there, Jackie. John Wooden, oh, yeah. Larry Bird. Very, the two most important very, influences in my basketball life, even though I'm from the beach here in San Diego. Coach and Larry from Indiana. A marriage made in flowers, and on the basketball court. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I believe that um, the marriage is the center of a lot of what we do, and if the marriage isn't right, then there's going to be some, some challenges and some areas that we may not have to face. Definitely. You should have. You should have. Well, Luke, been... I got a quick question okay. for you. Yeah. Um, you, your dad mentioned taking taking you two and your brothers to John Wooden's house. How was it growing up, the son of 
a living legend, soon to be Hall of Famer. I guess when you were a kid, maybe I think you went to Hall of Fame when you were around 13. How was that? Was that pressure, or was that something that you embraced? No, it was awesome. He was, he was just our dad. We yelled at him. We stole his crutches when he was hurt. He didn't get any special treatment around the household because – because of his basketball career. He got special treatment because he was a great dad, and that's the way we looked at it. Jackie, yeah, that is. when they were growing up, they would always say, Dad, you're the worst dad ever, Dad. We hate you, Dad. All you ever do is say no, Dad. Dad, we hate you so much, we're going to go to Notre Dame, Dad. <laughs> but it was, it was all good because I was trying to impress on them that they were asking the wrong questions because... <laughs> John Wooden also taught us that the worst things you could do for the ones you love are the things they could and should do for themselves. And I was trying to get them to the point, to the culture, where they would ask, Dad, can I go to bed now? Dad, <laughs> can I do the dishes now? Dad, can I go out and cut some flowers for Mom? Dad, can I wash the car? I'm still trying to get there. So you, you changed their questions and, 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 and gave them the freedom to do the things that they can do on their own versus doing it themselves. There you go. Versus you doing it for them. You have to nurture them. You have to encourage them. You have to have that culture of curiosity, of exploration, of experimentation to get out there and try to figure it all out yourself, Jackie, because it's a tough world out there, and that's why we're so happy that Teleflora puts a smile on our faces because they make our wives incredibly happy. And Jackie, it must have worked because now on my own, I can go to mba.com backslash Valentine's and order flowers for my wife and have the chance of winning free NBA tickets and free flowers for a year. I don't even have to ask his help. I can do it on my own. But will you be able to get a shirt like this or shoes as Free cool swag, as this? NBA swag. Now, I know I like the swirling beauty. What is Bree like? Right here in the heart, yeah. the heartfelt bouquet. That's Ooh. the one she. That's the one I got her. I hopefully she likes it. How <laughs> come mine is bigger than yours? I don't understand. That. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Bill, tell me. I asked Luke about how I was growing up with the Hall of Fame dad. Now, how was it being a Hall of Fame dad, raising a son who was following in your footsteps, playing the same sport? Jackie, there's nothing like the pride of a dad, and to see your children do well. That's the goal of every parent. And it's just remarkable of what all our children have been able to do. And as a dad, what makes me most happy, because all the children have different interests in life, in the, and they're moving in different directions. And, but the coolest thing for me is that all of our children get great happiness from seeing their siblings succeed. And what could be better in life? Other than getting some Teleflora flowers for your wife and your lady on <laughs> Valentine's Day. I agree. I agree. All right, we are running uh, short on time, so I've got two quick questions. One, tell me about the All-Star weekend. Who do you like? And tell me about the end of the season, second half of the season, who do you like in the playoffs? And tell me how to find more information about getting flowers, about getting tickets to NBA All-Star weekend, and whatever else you want to talk about regarding that. NBA All-Star weekend is the greatest 72 hours in sport. It's just fantastic. All the business, all the celebration and the, the history and the future, and it's all right there on display in the way the fans can all get involved. Yeah, and, and Jackie, you get to go to NBA.com backslash Valentine's, send and score, send your woman some flower, win some tickets, win some gear, win some flowers. They're doing it all on NBA.com backslash Valentine's. And the whole message, Jackie, is about making people happy. And when you can do that, you do it through basketball, you do it through sport, you do it through your family, your relationship with your son, and flowers. Make it happen. <laughs> Let's is, go. Get them to turn on their it. love light. Jackie, thanks for having us on, my man. Say hi yeah, to everybody in Indianapolis there for us, Jackie. We love the Indiana. <laughs> All right. Enjoy the All-Star Weekend festivities and the flowers for your wife.